Greetings YouTube. I am making this video for my friend Steven, who has not yet purchased Elite Dangerous, at least not to my knowledge anyways. Um, <clears throat> Steven, if you're listening, the uh, game is freaking awesome. Your head is going to explode, and I'm going to demonstrate something as easy simple as buying commodities and delivering them to a different station how cool it is in this game you have to buy it in this station ship it to another station and sell it for hopefully a better price so <clears throat> we're going to try that so we're in the, or Levi Monacini city and we're going to buy some commodities so we're just going to go over to the commodities, let me turn my sound back on. Boom. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna buy some commodities here. And since I know the best thing to buy in this station is beryllium, because everything, you know, everybody needs a beryllium sphere to operate their spaceships. So we're gonna buy as much beryllium as I can put in my cargo. That's uh, 200, about 280,000 credits worth of beryllium. I'm going to buy that. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. So you see I have about 100,000, 100, 105,000 seed money there. But that's the most expensive thing, expensive thing I'm going to buy. Repair all. Refuel my ship. So now we're going to take the beryllium. Once, one system over to a station called Sylvester City. And just doing this, I mean, looking at the graphics, looking at the spaceship operation. Ship released. Engines engaged. Up thrust, forward thrust. Landing gear retracted. And so we have to go to the Aravate system. So we'll have to find it on our navigation computer. The Aravate system. Which will be a few light years away. It's right there. Lock the destination. <laughs> and then we're going to charge our frameship drive, charging. frameship drive, as she said. Line up with the target destination. And then we're going to frame shift. 6.94 light years to the next system. Four, three, two, one, engage. Now I have to say the first time that I saw this in game, my head almost exploded because I'm in hyperspace right now. I'm shifting t from one system to another and as you can see in the bottom time's doing 9,000 times the speed of light, which is insane. And fuel scoop is just something that happens when you get close to a star and you have a fuel scoop. So, we have to go to Sylvester City, which is actually 493 light seconds away. Line up with the city. Boom. There we go. And away we go. Now, this is one of the aspects of the game I do not like is this super cruise mode where you're in super luminal speeds but you're not frame shifting you're not you know using a quantum entanglement drive to jump to another system it's something within the system and you have to kind of gauge at the bottom left there's like these blue ticks on the bar you have to kind of gauge when the speed and the distance are in the blue and you have to stop about then and if you're going too fast, you'll jump to the system. And if you're going too slow, you'll fall 50 light seconds short. As you can see, my time to system or my time to station is going up and down, up and down, because I'm having to shift between you know higher throttles and lower throttles to get this kind of the balancing act right where you know, both of them are ending up in the blue and I can just dump out. You know, you can dump out a light, light speed or super cruise, 
by double clipping, clicking your frame shift button, but it causes damage to your ship and you always end up far away from where you wanted to be in the first place. So, don't like that. You'd think in a society of people that have mastered intergalactic travel that they'd have a computer system that would calculate the optimal speed and um, deceleration for you know where you're, where you're going in system. They do have something similar which is an auto docking computer which is one of my favorite parts of the game is manual docking. But you'd think they'd have something like that for this. So this is one aspect I don't like. Frame shift, totally like it. Automatic, gets the system you're going to. Love it. But uh, this, uh, I think it's just too time consuming and I think there, there could be a better way to do this. But here it seems like I'm on point to land at the system without any major issues, just kind of feathering the throttle, make sure I'm not going too slow or too fast. <clears throat> so my speed's in the blue, I'm just waiting for my distance to get in the blue before I drop out of Super Cruise. Even though this is time consuming, I still love it. And then you're going to see the station show up. Boom! Like a scene straight out of Star, Star Wars. Now we got to request docking permission from the station. Whoops. Docking request granted. So we're in docking bay one. Kind of up thrusting over there. Okay, what's the orientation here? Landing gear down. Scope out the landing gear deployed. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that we need to be this way. for a landing right over here. And this is all completely manual. I mean, they do have a... a, uh, what's it called? Assist, which I'm using. Down thrust docking and successful, successful docking. And to me, that's fun stuff. So we're gonna we're here to sell stuff, right, and make a profit. So I, we bought all that beryllium. We've taken it to Sylvester City. Let's refuel. Go to our commodities. Boom. Go down to all the metals. We bought 36 tons of beryllium, and now we're going to say sell it at 762 credit profit per ton. So let's see how much that makes me. Oh, 27 and a half thousand credits, almost. That's excellent, excellent profit. And that is. A mundane, just everyday um, selling of commodities from one system to another, station to a station, and it's exciting. You feel like you're there. 
I can't even imagine how the Oculus Rift is. So, Steve, if you haven't purchased this game yet, it's freaking making my brain explode actually playing it myself. I got my X25 from Satek set up with the, the throttle and the stick separate and pretty awesome. What can I say? If I had the money, I'd buy it for you, but, you know, times is tough. So get it for yourself, man. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you need to get this, though. <laughs>